print books die or maybe e-books will die soon will we live in flats with no bookshelves and cities with no bookstores will we forget the smell of a new book the crisp texture of the flipping pages with technology at our doorstep reading habits have changed largely youngsters mostly prefer reading on a kindle laptop or even smartphone we went around asking students about their reading habits i don't read books but i like people who read them but i like people who read them I find that uh, uh, with the e-book, it's cheaper, and it's my own personal copy because uh, it's not been shared by anybody else. You the thing which I'm not interested much. Mm-hmm. Not a big fan. Won't read. It's so hot, man. So hot, man. So hot, man. Disappointed, we went in search of passionate book lovers around Chennai. Tucked away in the nooks of Aripuram, slightly excluded from the busy by lanes, we came across rare books. Rare books is a bibliophile treasure trove based in Govinda Raju, the owner's guarded space. It is a complete antithesis to 21st century flashy bookstores. This little shop stores rare books all the way from the 1860s. A visit to rare books is more than a chance to shop. It is a chance to explore. Rare Books houses a huge collection of almost 20,000 books. Not willing to give up his passion, the avid collector bought and inherited all of it for years. What attracted me was the penguin uh, bird as such and then the numbers. I thought why not collect the entire lot, you know. They were very cheap for all. So this is, it cost me just a quarter of a rupee. They were known as penny books in England uh, and it was here about four and us, one quarter of a rupee. I started collecting those books, um, reading some of them and more uh, for the sake of collecting. The, first thousand books I thought, which I could not because they were not available. They had to come from England. Mm. So it was not produced in India, it had to come. It's all uh, how it started and uh, the main uh, um, person behind uh, my book collection was my father, he was a very ardent reader. <coughs> He used to, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> he used to like books and he used to buy them and read them and then give it to me and ask me to correct them, read them and <coughs> preserve them. It's all started with that. So it went on to various collections from that, various kinds of fictions, English literature mostly I was interested in. So it was from Penguin to other books, that's how it went. For the last 42 odd years, Nalini Chetu has presided over an empire of imagination in a tiny corner of the once iconic Taj Konnamara Hotel of Chennai. The owner of Giggles often described her shop as the biggest little bookshop in the country. Chetu has exercised a patrician hold over her subjects. Writers, researchers and more often readers travel from all across the city for an incomparable afternoon of chai and chatter with Nalini. I did my uh, English literature in bachelor's, so my foundation is very good, more classical. And I know, and now Indian writing is all the rage. So I keep a wide range of writing, you know, translations, 
and very good literature from abroad. So that's how, and I learn a lot from customers. Like now I, I will ask you what are you reading now and if I haven't heard of the book I'll check it out and maybe keep it. It's a two way thing. You can't just keep the best sellers. That's mm. boring. You know, then every shop will have only the best sellers. When the new management at the Taj group of hotels took over, they politely suggested that she moved her shop out of the main building into the far end of a newly built wing. These days, 82-year-old Chattu sits perched on a hard, uncomfortable wooden seat outside her minuscule shop. The demise of Connemara has finally won over her passion and forced her to relocate. In spite of the steady stream of lo lo loyal customers, the fate of Giggles remains uncertain because nobody yet knows what its new location will be. I'm an Vikram and I'm 17 years old. I uh, discovered Giggles around a week ago. I've been here thrice already. Uh, brought, I'm bringing my friends over here because they're moving out right now and uh, the bookstore might not be there uh, even one week from now, so bringing my friends over. Mm. I think reading books is better because you, when you get the scent of a book, when you open it, it's, it's a totally different experience than reading it from a Kindle and feeling the pages and stuff. And yet in spite of the deliberations and debates about physical books and Kindle, on a lazy afternoon, Chennai was seen reading voraciously at a makeshift bookstall in front of PVR Velacheri. Chennai is still a city that collects, still a city that reads.